Hi, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad here, and I, I wish I was going to be sharing good news, but I have some very heartbreaking news to share with you, and that is that Sunday afternoon, uh, on their way back from the Parker campus, uh, Joanna Magdaleno, our, our Pastor Ruben's wife, and their oldest son, Junior, and his wife, uh, Lexi, who was Lexi Bell before they got married, were involved in a serious car accident. Uh, uh, another car crossed center line, hit them head on. Uh, Joanna is home recovering from her injuries. Uh, Lexi is in Phoenix uh, receiving medical care and uh, has a long road to recovery. And uh, unfortunately and, and just grievously, uh, Junior uh, did not survive his injuries. And he is home with the Lord uh, in perfection, but there's grief in the family of God. And I wanted you to know this because uh, as a church family, uh, as the Parker campus, we're going to be grieving. Uh, we're we're going to be uh, in that place of grief. And I know people say, well, we, we believe in Jesus, so we don't have to grieve. The truth is we grieve, but we grieve differently. We grieve because we love, and we're talking about loss. And, and so we're grieving the loss of a son, and, and parents who've lost a child understand that it's never right when parents have to bury a child. We're grieving the, the, the brokenness of a widow uh, who at a very young age uh, discovers that her husband is no longer with her. Uh, we're grieving the, the, the shattered dreams of two families enmeshed in our church for their, their kids uh, to build a life. Um, and, and lots of people grieve because they wonder why. Why did God let this happen? Why uh, you know, didn't he rescue them? Why didn't he answer the prayers for miraculous healing? Why? So there's grief, there's sorrow, there's confusion, there's doubt. Some people question God's goodness in these moments. And, and I want to share with you uh, that we grieve, but we grieve with hope. The Apostle Paul wrote these words to the church at Thessalonica. He said, but we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, he's talking about dead, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep in Christ Jesus. You see, we grieve differently than the world does because we know that Jesus is the Son of God. We know that he died on the cross to pay for our sins and was raised from the dead. And then in that death and resurrection, he defeated sin, he defeated death, he defeated hell. And through his conquest of those three things, we have the promise of life eternal. Now, in this moment, we're still living in a world that is wrecked by sin. I mean, that's why uh, there's terrorism and hatred, that's why there's violence and assault, that's why uh, there's uh, racism and enmity and, and jealousy and just all those things that wreck life. But that's also why there are diseases and uh, birth defects and natural disasters and even car accidents. It's the results of living in a broken world. And Jesus has redeemed this world by promising us a new one. But right now we're living in the place of tears. We know the promise of life eternal and we hold on to that. And we look forward to that day when Jesus himself will wipe our tears away and we'll live in a place where there's no more suffering, sorrow, death, or pain. But until then, we grieve. But we grieve with hope and we call people to hope in Jesus because you're going to grieve. The question is, are you gonna grieve in hopelessness? Or are you going to grieve with hope in Jesus Christ, our Redeemer who loves us and never lets us go? So I'm going to invite you to join with us in grieving for the Magdaleno and Bell families. And I'm going to invite you to join with us in celebrating the hope we have in Jesus Christ as our Savior and inviting people this season to discover that hope in Jesus. So Thank you for listening, and I pray that God would bless you and your loved ones in Jesus' name.